What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today what we're gonna focus on is a men's haircut and that men's haircut happens to be my haircut. You guys requested it, I had a request yesterday again so I figured why not start it today. I had this guy who's now my twin. And I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to create this haircut. If you like it, definitely hit the subscribe button below if you haven't done that already. Thank you very much. Let's get started. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is figure out first where do you part your hair? In my case, I part my hair on the right hand side. So that is gonna sit right along my parietal ridge area, maybe a little bit above it. And then um, on the opposite side, which is gonna be the heavy side, the side that all the hair goes to, I go a little bit higher with that parting above parietal ridge because that's where, the thing that I like about my haircut, what I think makes it a little bit unique um, and why I think a lot of you guys have requested it is because of how the hair falls over on the opposite side. It's almost like a waterfall effect falling over the parietal ridge if you, if you wanna describe it that way. So I take that parting a little bit higher. Uh, so it's an asymmetrical, uh, section on the top of the head and then I go in I'm using a cordless clipper this is the Andis Supra ZR clipper I like this one the only thing I don't love about it is it has the detachable blades and the thing I don't like about detachable blades is there's no lever uh, to adjust for fading so you have to have lots and lots of different blades so um, in my case for my cut I use a two guard pretty much all the way through and then I do scissor over comb to blend everything so um, I just go through and I fly through and cut it quickly um, another thing about my haircut is I like to get a haircut done um, I don't like to sit in the chair very long so this is a quick haircut um, that I can get and move on with my day so I'm going through clipper is going all the way across the head and then I just lift it as I get to the crown of the head to build up that weight um, around lower parietal and then low crown in that area. I like to have a little extra length in the back of, of my hair. My head tends to be a little bit flatter in the back, so I like to build up some weight with some hair uh, back there as well. But you'll see as I run that clipper up the head, I just pull it away from the head once I get to the parting. So this is my uh, heavy side that we're working on now. I take that a little bit higher. I don't like to build up as much of a weight line. I'll even remove more of that right now with a scissor. So we'll switch into scissor over comb. So it's just quick right through there with the clippers and then I scissor over comb to blend uh, around the top all the way around that uh, section that we've created. So working my way through the back, I am going to allow the head shape to kind of play a role in and how the weight is distributed through the back of the head so I'll go through scissor over comb clean everything up but as I move to the back of the head I want that weight line to shift down just a little bit to build up some weight in the back so you can see that little bit of length back there I like that it keeps the head shape in check I think a lot of people will just shave all the way up and take that off I don't think that looks right um, I like a little extra weight build up in the back same thing on the other side. This is my 339 comb. I'm using the Mizutani 6.5 inch blacksmith fit scissor. This is pretty much my go-to for scissor over comb. I also do like the Mizutani solid 7 inch, but um, for the most part in the salon, this is my go-to scissor for that. Uh, blacksmith fit is a very uh, great all-around affordable scissor uh, for everything. So 6.5 inches, you can do pretty much all of your cutting with it. So now this is my part side, so I want to build up a little more of a graduated kind of weight line around the parting um, as opposed to the opposite side, which you're looking at right now, where I went all the way up to the hair. So it's definitely asymmetrical, but once that hair gets uh, released and falls over it, it'll bring some symmetry back to the cut. Now we're just cleaning it up. This would be detailed to whatever guy you're working with. Obviously, this is a mannequin, so it's a little bit different but we're just cleaning it up. And then I do a little trimmer over comb. Um, I like to do this just to, to seal it in, just triple checking everything, making sure the shape is exactly the way I want it. Still working with that 339 comb. It's got nice tight teeth. It's great for barber, uh, barber work and also precision work. It's a smaller comb, so it's easy to get in those tight spots. So now I'm gonna take that scissor over comb just a little bit tighter um, on the heavy side. So it looks like the hair is pushing to the opposite side, but it's actually gonna be laying towards me. Um, see, as I pull that over, you can see how the hair overhangs. Now we're gonna work on the top. 
what we're going to be doing is over directing the hair back. So I'm going to show you guys how that works. So every, we're going to have a traveling guide for about two sections and then everything's going to be pulled back towards me to build up weight in the front. The front is really the key to this haircut. If you don't have enough length in the front, what's going to happen is it's going to, the hair is going to fall on your face. We're also going to notch into it with point cutting. So you'll see how slow my point cutting technique is and how much of an angle I have um, to create those notches. I, I have uh, finer hair on the top of my head. So I like to create those notches in the top of the haircut so it's not perfect and that allows it to have a lot more texture. Now we're gonna go through blow it dry. Uh, anytime I'm blow drying my hair, I blow dry it straight up in the air. Um, I, I get it laying exactly the way I want it without putting any product in it whatsoever. And then I hit it with the cool air from the blow dryer to set it. Um, you want the hair to cool down as you finish it so that it sets the style in place. And then I go in with my product. So basically the style's already created, but I go in with a lot of product because I like having that texture um, look into the haircut. So this is Bricado Carve. Um, like I've, I've talked about in a lot of different videos, it creates a lot of texture, but it's not heavy. Uh, so it works great for fine hair. It gives you a lot of texture without weighing the hair down. And that's pretty much the end look. This is a very simple haircut, guys, like I said, but you guys have been requesting it. I hope you like it. Um, definitely let me know if you have any more questions below. Hopefully we went through it thorough enough for you. But there you go. You can see that disconnection laying over. And that's my cut. All right, guys. And like always, if you liked this video and this haircut or this haircut, then hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends out there and make sure that you sign up for our FSE Partner Salon program. It's $19.99 per month. You get one class per month live on the internet with us. Also, you get added to our super secret Facebook group and put on hairsalonlocator.com so that people that watch these videos that are looking for a new salon to go to can find your salon and know that you watch haircuts just like this and they can go to your salon and get them. Thank you guys so much for the support. Again, let me know if you have any questions below. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. And guys, remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below because you could win this Vibrastrate iron. Good luck. Let me know in the comments below if you've subscribed. Thanks.